Hello, I'm Michael Dime, and you're watching Muscle Central. Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. All right, I talked about it in, in a number of videos about the attitude, mindset, comes to training and competing. And when you're on the highest levels, it can make a difference in the outcome uh, which you're competing in. Now, uh, I hear a lot of times a bodybuilder, when they're being interviewed, they're asked, well, uh, what placing are you gunning for? Or what uh, placing will, would you be satisfied in this, with in this show? And you hear, oh, top 10, top 8, top 5, whatever. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, no, well, what the fuck are you in the competition for? Uh, I competed in two different activities. When I was younger, I did uh, full contact uh, karate fighting. Uh, when I turned 40, I competed for four years in bodybuilding. And when I was competing, during training, I I train to win. When I showed up at the event, I came there with the intentions of winning. And nothing else. Uh, whether I won or not was really doesn't mean doesn't matter. <coughs> The point was, I trained to win. I came to win. And whatever I did on that particular day, that event, um, I feel confident that I did the best that I could possibly do at that moment. Because I trained and came with the intent on winning. Uh... Once you put it in your mind that uh, you're not going to win, you're going to be happy with this place or that place, and uh, it, a lot of times it, it will become a self uh, fulfilled uh, prophecy. I can remember during one of the Olympia press conferences. I don't remember which Olympia it was, but Bob Chicarillo, remember Jay Cutler, says, do you think you can beat the champion, referring to Ronnie Coleman? And Jay looked at him, first the look on his face alone, said like, what the fuck are you asking me to something so stupid like that for? And his response was, I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could. And he came, whether he beat Ronnie or not, did it wasn't the point there, is that he trained and he came there with the intention of winning. And uh, the attitude, like I said, the attitude, your mindset, can, can be a major factor in the ultimate outcome of whatever you're doing. If you're competing in bodybuilding, don't go with, don't train and go into the competition hoping to be the top this or top that. Go in there, train and go in there with the mindset that you're going to win. You are training to win. You are showing up at that competition to win and whatever the outcome might be you're going to know that you did the best you could do on that particular day because you trained to win and you came to win have a positive mindset learn how to Remove the, the that that negativity and take that 
tend to take that approach. Okay, if you uh, agree or disagree with anything I've said, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share and by all means subscribe. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. This way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. Also, go to the description box. If you have any questions, you're going to find a link to the Muscle Central Facebook page. You can go there and DM me. I'd be happy to answer them. Also, you find link to links to Species Nutrition, Mr. G's Protein Snacks. Click on both those links. Go to both those websites. Check out all their great products. Also, there's a link to another YouTube channel, Buffy the Iron Slayer, Chris Miller's channel. He does muscle talk with me and raging muscle. Go to his channel, Buffy the Iron Slayer. Check out all his content and just subscribe there once again this is michael diamond i'd like to thank you for watching muscle central